What's Gucci gang? What's Gucci squad? It's your boy, I'm Mike. Back at it with another fire video. Hey man, say man, come on. Damn, y'all so excited. I'm finna show y'all my rose gold jewelry collection. So not just my gold jewelry collection. I'm leaving the regular gold out of this. This is only strictly rose gold jewelry collection video. Alright y'all, so how I started rose gold is really, um... I got rose gold grills, man. I wanted rose gold grills, man. I seen rose gold grills for a minute, and I always wanted rose gold grills. Like Lil Peep, he had rose gold grills with pink diamonds in them. I thought that was hard, and I that's literally what I I wanted, and I thought that that's what I was gonna get. But it turns out that's not what I told them to do. I got white diamonds. I guess Lil Peep had pink diamonds, but with pink diamonds on rose gold, it looks so awesome. So, shout out to Lil Peep. He definitely did that. This is my rose gold chain right here, y'all. Uh, half a kilo chain. Solid 14 karat rose gold. So, if y'all looking at my chains, man, these are all rose pieces. And I just want to say, this piece is scratched. But you could take most of the scratches out with the cloth, but some of these bad boys got to come out with the professional cleaning. And I haven't cleaned it since I got this chain. But as you can feel or hear it, it's a very solid piece. And if y'all kept up with me, man, y'all know I started off with a hollow chain. I went to the pawn shop and I bought my first hollow gold chain, rope chain, for about $800. And damn it. What the f man? <sighs> I never wanted to go hollow again, so what's the next thing from hollow? Straight solid, man. This chain right here would cost you around 26 grand. You could probably get it for 25 grand if you know some people, but gold went up, guys. And I purchased this chain, it was about 20, 24,000. And now, like I said, it's around 25, 26,000. So it went up about a couple grand since I purchased this chain. And that's why I say this chain is an investment piece, y'all. It's not like your ordinary chain where you just lose money as soon as you get it. You know, you actually are gaining money over time. So this is a good piece right here. It's one of my favorite pieces, you know. And I used to not be able to wear this for a long time. But now I'm used to the, to the heavy weight. But my jeweler told me, one of my jewelers told me, shout out to Jules. He told me, you could only get a box like this, man, if you spend a bag. You know what I'm saying? So I'm one of those people that are lucky enough to get one of these boxes right here. And, um, yeah, you got to spend a bag to get the box. You know what I'm saying? So right here, man, let's go ahead and open this shit up. Boom. You smell that? It smells like money. You feel me? We got the earrings right here. And you could put your rings in this thing too right here. So this is my rose gold ring I was telling y'all about. And I know y'all seen this ring before probably. But I kept it around. It is missing a few diamonds and shit like that. But at the same time, it's still a good piece. And if you know how to fix it correctly, you could still rock this bad boy. This piece has baguette diamonds in there. And it also has VS1 diamonds. They're not the cleanest stones. I'll give it that. But I paid five racks for this for this ring right here. And it's not worth that, you know what I'm saying? Because I could have easily got this ring for like 3000 maybe. I bought these baguette earrings right here. They're rose gold. They're solid. And it looked kind of like these came from a bracelet or something. But at the same time, they're really cool earrings. I'm going to go ahead and put these bad boys on. So I only paid $1,000 for these earrings. And to me, that's not a lot of money, so... I definitely went to go pick these up, man. I bought these over there in Austin, Texas, man. Shout out to Austin. Bro. All right, y'all. So I got the earrings on. That's how they look, man. The rose gold chain. And I'm going to go ahead and put on this rose gold ring right here. I keep the Jesus ring on, so don't mind me having this yellow gold Jesus ring. This is just for my good luck and stuff like that. I used to have another Rolex right here that went on this thing. But I ended up selling my other Rolex because... I bought two of these Rolexes, man. Both two-tone Rolex, both the same uh, numbers, all that good stuff. I was going to bring the box out for this bad boy, but I, 
I think it's cool in the jewels box, you know what I'm saying, just for the video and stuff. But it came with box and paper. Shout out to Johnny Dang. I bought this Rolex right here from Johnny Dang. This one right here will run you about $25,000. And if you want one to be made for you, it's going to run you a little more than that. Probably around $26,000. I don't need an AP. I don't need a Patek. I love Rolex, bro. Growing up, I did not want an AP. Growing up, I don't want no fucking cheap ass looking ass Richard Mille, bro. I don't want that piece of shit. I want me a bust down Roly. Presidential. It don't matter. This bad boy, this monster right here, man. I say monster, man, because you could see a lot of Cuban bracelets like this, but it's not as heavy as this one. I've noticed that this one actually has a decent amount of weight to it, to where it's like... You hear that, bro? Let me tell you why this has more weight than a regular Cuban bracelet. It's because it's double the weight. When they put this... They, they make this bracelet, it's plain Jane. And then they put the diamonds on top of it instead of putting it inside of the bracelet. Which makes it about double the weight. So you're paying for more gold on top of them diamonds. So this right here will cost you about eight grand just for this bracelet right here, man. This bad boy is a monster. And it's, it looks bigger in person. It's not even the biggest monster Cuban bracelet you can find. But if you look around, those bracelets run you around six grand to about thirty thousand dollars just for a bracelet, bro. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get into the grillies, man. I I have special grills, man. Sorry for if my jewelry is not as clean as it could be, but these are eighteen karat gold. These are not even regular rose gold grills. They're ever rose grills. Ever rose grills. It's another word for saying forever. It's going to be forever rose gold. For till I'm 100 years old, this is going to stay its rose gold color because of the ever rose gold, which is they add a percentage of platinum instead of all copper and the other metals to make rose gold, rose gold color. They add the platinum so it could be rose gold for a lifetime. Whenever I want to be thugging, I just put on my rose gold grills and yeah. Then you got the big boys right here. Now these big boys right here, I actually lost my diamond grills, y'all. I lost my top piece diamond grill at the movies one time. So I had to get a new top piece. But when I got this new top piece, I said, man, let's go all out. Give me 12 teeth all iced out to the brim. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Bottom piece, 12 piece on the bottom, but as you can see, I have gold caps on the 12th tooth. So it's only 10 teeth iced out, last two not iced out. This one is the, the Omega right here, and obviously this one costs more money than this one and the other one. These are crazy. These are crazy grills. I'm going to help put these on. So yeah, man, it's all rose gold now, man. Like, I ain't doing no yellow gold no more. But I hit up Emmett's Jewelers, man. Shout out to Emmett's. And I told him I want a chain. And I told him my budget, which was like ten to 15000 And we came across this one right here, which is only $13,000. And I could have got a bigger one for only $10,000. Like it was like twice the size of this one. But the diamonds weren't popping like this one. Like this this necklace right here in the nighttime, that motherfucker hitting. You feel me? It hitting. And that, that being said, I paid for quality over quantity. And sometimes you got to do that, man. So this is one of them chains that I paid for quantity. I mean quality over quantity. And it looks small, man, but this thing is solid. All right, so we got this bad boy right here. Now this is the big boy right here, so... What I mean by this is the big boy, it, 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 it looks smaller when it's by my other chain, you know, they look small together, but if you really add this chain up to any chain that your homie has or your big homie has, this is up there with those pieces, you feel me? This is just a really big, nice piece, bro. You got the Doty on top and the gang on the bottom. This pendant right here cost me $20,000, y'all. This is what a real dub looks like. This is a real $20,000 pendant, and then the chain cost $13,000. So together, this is 33, 33 grand on the neck. 
So it looks like it's not really doing much. But you got 33 grand on your neck real quick, you feel me? And then now we got the final piece, man. Can I get a motherfucking drum roll, man? Can I get a drum roll? All right, man. This is my favorite piece. This piece actually took really long because... Not long in sense of when I made it. More long in sense of when I thought of the idea. I thought of this idea for years. And... I thought it was a really cool idea, man. At first, I just wanted Mike Wazowski. At first, I just wanted a Mike Wazowski, like, just him himself, you know, because my name's Mike, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, um, it was just like, okay, whatever, you know? I thought it was a cool character, and I thought I always wanted a circle piece. I always wanted a character to put on a chain, and I wanted to be a circle, you know what I'm saying? Like, something circle that you could have right here, just a circle piece that's dope and big as fuck, and it looks awesome. So I was like, damn, what can I get? And I was like, bro, Mike Wazowski. Like, bro, you grew up playing the Mike Wazowski. You grew up playing Monsters, Inc. You grew up watching the movies. You is Mike Wazowski, bro. You got to get the Mike Wazowski. So I'm telling my homie, man, me and my homie, shout out to Chris Tones. We just talking, man, and we just talking about what paintings we trying to get and, like, what we doing next types. Like, what's going to go on and how we going to shine. What do we want? And we start talking ideas, and I tell them about the Mike Wazowski. A few years ago, too. And then, boom. I, I, I tried to do the Mike Wazowski. <laughs> the dream just fades away. A year goes by. The, the custom 3D design prints, they're not looking how I want. They look stupid. I'm like, what the f***? I'm not going to ice that out and wear that on my neck. It looks dumb. How am I going to make something so dope that I like that's not going to look stupid? It's going to look hard. And one day, bro, I was watching Monsters, Inc. with my girl. If y'all watch the Monsters, Inc. scene, he comes out. It's, it's young Mike Wazowski. And he comes out with a hat on. And he did it. And he went for it. And that just made me think, like, bro, that's me. And then I started thinking, like, bro, young Mike Wazowski. It's literally young Mike Wazowski. I'm young Mike. So I'm like, bro, that has to be my chain. I need to get it. I need to go hard. That's the picture. That's the one. That's what I want. I want young Mike Wazowski, not just Mike Wazowski. So two years later, I finally created what I needed to, what I wanted it to be. And it was that, that exact picture when he walks outside that door and you see this. So we do, we did some math, we did some, you know, calculations, we did some hard work, some dedication, some shit that I didn't even think that I could actually honestly do. I actually dropped a bag on one of the best pieces that I ever made in my life. Shout out to Empire Jewelers, man. I'm going to give you your flowers, man. Shout out to Mo. Because like, like it says in the back, I'm going to show you all the back. The back's not, not polished, you know, it's supposed to give it that type of look. Dodie Gang, Empire Jewelers, if it ain't by Mo, it gotta go. You feel me? Because this is the hardest piece, man, that I got in my life. And I give it to him, bro. So much diamonds, it doesn't matter if a few diamonds fell out. You can't even tell because there's so much fucking diamonds in this piece. It's, it's insane, bro. What am I doing, man? I'm about to show y'all this piece right here, man. Shout out. To young Mike Wazowski, shout out to young Mike, shout out to Empire Jewelers, shout out to y'all, shout out to all my peoples out here doing their thing, shout out to everybody that made this happen for me, you feel me, cause this is a dream come true, I never thought I'd be here showing y'all some real ice, not no CVDs, not no uh, Moisten Nights, not none of that shit, y'all know how I get down and I don't do that fake ass shit. I could tag my jewelers. They could tell y'all the straight up deal, the real deal spiel, man. My jewelers don't lie, bro. You tell them what I got, they're going to tell you exactly what the fuck it is, and they're going to tell you the price. And I'm not playing when I tell you that I spent $30,000 on this piece right now. Some people going to say it's worth 50000 Some people going to say it's worth 40000 I paid personally $30,000 for this piece. Will you get this piece for that price? Probably not. I know the jeweler personally. He's been wanting to make me a piece for years, since 2019. So, five years ago, he been wanting to make me a piece. This is not just some price that you could get off your ass. You will have to, for a piece like this, 
it's at least thirty five thousand. At least thirty five to forty thousand. And that's just showing Mo some respect to put some money in his pocket for doing you such a good job, bro. That's what this price is for. I'm glad to be back, y'all. This feels good to show y'all the new Rose Gold Jewelry Collection. I've been wanting to do this for a minute. I just wanted to wait till I got my pendants. But now y'all seen them and y'all see what it is. And what kind of carrots is this Rose Gold? And what kind of best carrots should you get for Rose Gold? So first off, and one thing I've learned from getting Rose Gold over the years is it's all about who you go to. Because you want to be able to get Rose Gold, but then... Let them throw rose gold on top of the rose gold. So it's like double rose. It's better. And as you can see, my Mike Wazowski is double rose. It's more pink than natural rose gold color. And I think I like the more pinkish look than the natural gold color. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments, man. And drop a like if y'all want to see more jewelry videos. This is not even all my jewelry, which is crazy, y'all. I got another set of diamond grills. I got more diamond rings. I got gold chains. I got my gold collection is nice, too. And I think I want to give something away for y'all, man. I think I want to give y'all something on the next jewelry video. So make sure y'all drop a like for another jewelry video. And I'll throw a giveaway in there on the next one, man. So if y'all see that gold the regular gold jewelry collection video stay tuned for that one i'm gonna give something gold away you feel me but yeah man that's my jewelry collection video man mm -hmm.